It's Hop Along Cassidy. With action and suspense, out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The ring of the silver spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hop Along Cassidy. This famous hero thrills his 60 million fans with action and dangerous adventure. In the role of Hopalong Cassidy is the popular star of the motion picture series, William Boyd. And now, another exciting story of the early West. An old Spanish custom. late afternoon sun beats down on Hoppy and his grizzled old partner as they ride across Southern California, the golden land of the Dons and Spanish Rancheros. Their thousand-mile cattle buying expedition has left them dusty and weary, and as the afternoon wears on, Hoppy's increasing restlessness begins to get on California's nerves. What in tarnation's eating you, Hoppy? It's too quiet, too doggone quiet. Well, what do you expect? Senior reachers sharing eating you in the sagebrush? No, but I did expect to see a cow or two grazing the range hereabouts. Well, shucks, we'll see plenty of that when we hit old Don Leone Ortega spread. It won't be long now. Won't it? How do you know? Well, doggone it, Hoppy. Wasn't I Don Leone's top horse wrangler nine, ten years ago? You were? How'd you reckon I got the name California? I heard it was because some slicker sold you a deed to a California gold mine that turned out to be in the middle of the San Francisco Bay. Now, hold on. <laughs> that ain't the only reason they call me California. Oh, sure, I forgot. So you were Don Leone's top horse wrangler, eh? You bet. Of course, being so long ago, maybe he won't even remember me. I wouldn't be at all surprised. What kind of horses did he raise? Oh, the fastest doggone critters you ever seen. Why, Hoppy, them horses were so fast that... Hey, uh, let me tell you what happened once. Mm -hmm. I was riding an Ortega stallion about 50 miles from the hacienda one day with my pack burrow a-trailing along behind when all of a sudden a cloudburst come a-rushing up behind me on top of a 60-mile hurricane. Heavens to Betsy. Well, sir, I just turned that pony's head for home. And doggone if he didn't race that storm so close, I didn't feel a drop. While my burrow, only ten yards behind, had to swim all the way. <laughs> California, haven't you any respect for the truth? Oh, now, hold on, Hoppy. I value the truth as much as any man. You must value it a lot more, the way you economize using it. Oh, shucks, what makes you think I'm not telling the truth? Well, for one thing, we're not heading for Don Leona Ortega's rancho. What? Because this is his rancho. We've been on his range ever since we came through the pass 12 miles back. And another thing. Why do you suppose he took the trouble to send a messenger all the way to the Bar 20, saying that his prize-blooded stock was for sale? Well, didn't that messenger say the old man was selling out so he could retire to one of them missions? But there are a lot of rancheros here who had been glad to buy him out. It was to me he offered to sell. That's why I'm buying him for the Bar 20. And for just about half what those cows are worth. Well, why is he selling them to you? Because nine years ago, I was Don Leone's foreman. <laughs> you, 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 you was? Yeah. Well, and somehow, I don't remember seeing you around. Well, maybe I got my ranchos mixed up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, but, Hoppy, uh, uh, why should he want to sell out? Ain't he got no sons or no family to leave all this to... No, he used to have, but they all died or were killed. When I finally quit, all he had left was one little granddaughter living with him. I always felt kind of sorry for old Don Leone. His fortune kept dogging his trail wherever he went. He used to say it was a curse put on his family by the victims of an old pirate ancestor of his. A pirate? Yeah, one of the buccaneers who used to rob shipping along the Pacific coast in the old days. Oh, Tommy. Who, who, who? What's the matter? Well, who, what are you staring at? Way off over there, standing against the sky at top of that ridge. See him? Mm -hmm. A rider. Yeah. Hey, you can barely make him out. Just uh, sitting there on his horse like he was a-watching us. 
Uh, must be one of Don Leone's men. We'll be getting a welcoming committee soon. He's turned and disappeared down the other side of that ridge. If he was one of Don Leone's wranglers, he'd be heading for us to find out who we are and what we want. Well, maybe he just ain't the curious type. I don't know. He's the first living soul we've seen around here. And not a solitary cow in the whole place. I got a feeling there's something mighty funny going on here, California. Something I don't quite get. Well, come on, let's keep going. Sun's getting mighty low, Hoppy. We ought to be pretty close to the ranch house, don't you think? We'll see it just as soon as we get atop this ridge. The hacienda stables and everything are in the valley below. Oh. <laughs> ah, there she is, the hacienda. California. Great jumping blue blazes. It's burned up. Everything's burned up. The stables, the corrals. Everything except the hacienda itself, and that's made of adobe. Not a soul anywhere. The place looks deserted. Look there. Smoke still rising from the ruins. What must have happened just a few hours ago? I wonder where everybody went. Let's go see. (laughs) Down. That shot. It's come from the hacienda. Yeah. Whoever survived the fire doesn't like visitors. Now back to Hop Along Cassidy and our story... An old Spanish custom. After arriving at Don Leone Ortega's California Rancho on a cattle buying expedition, Hoppy and California find that the old Don's stables and corrals are burned and the place apparently deserted. As they survey the desolate scene, a shot rings out from one of the broken windows of the hacienda. They fling themselves off their horses and hug the ground. Night has fallen. Hoppy and California plan their attack in the darkness. California, you crawl around and take them from the north flank. I'll take them from the south. We converge on that window. When I reach my position, I'll give out an owl hoot. You answer so I'll know you've reached yours. Right. Then chuck a handful of stones against the hacienda. If they're jittery in there, they'll likely fire at the sound and keep under cover. Don't worry, Hoppy. While they're attracted by you, I'll rush them. And you come around. Okay, let's go. You don't let go of that rifle. I'll break your holy smoke, Wyatt. It... Hold him, Hoppy. I got him covered. He got his rifle. Take it easy, California. Everything's under control. Except that this isn't a him, it's a her. What? The Hame Bandito Matare. Well, what do you know? A gal. Keep your eye peeled. There may be others back there in the darkness. Now, easy, sweetheart. After that shot you took at us, I'm not in the mood for any friendly wrestling match. No use trying to break away. Pig, let go of me. So you savvy English, do you? Murderers. Murderers? It's her who just tried to murder us. Now, wait a minute. Now, take it easy, honey. Maybe you ought to light a lamp so you can take a good look at us. I got a hunch you got us mixed up with some other hombres. You... You are not with El Lobo? El Lobo? Who is El Lobo? What's happened? Where's Don Leone? Your... Your voice... It is the same one I remember so long ago. Senor Cassidy, it is you, no? Of course. My partner and I just... <laughs> I should have known. I should have known. We were expecting you, my grandfather and I. Your, your grandfather? But who... You... You're not the little girl I used to see around <laughs> when I ramrodded this outfit. See, si, I am Isabella. I reckon <laughs> she had time to grow, Hoppy. Honey, what's happened? El Lobo, El Lobo and Don Carlos, they came with their men. We held them off. We defended the hacienda, but they burned the stables, the barns. Who is this El Lobo? He is a bandito. A bandit? But where are all your grandfather's men? Where is everybody? 
You didn't fight them off alone. No. There were the house servants, my duena, my grandfather. Yeah, but where are they? Dead. Isabella, you mean you're the only... No, my grandfather, Don Leon, is still alive. He is badly wounded, Senor Cassidy, and cannot move. If we could get help before a lobo return, and a medico, a doctor for my grandfather. Where is he? Where is Don Leone? He lies by a window on the other side of the house, on guard. Hey, here's a lamp. You got a match? No, do not light it. A lobo and his men, they are watching from the hills. Yeah, we spotted one of his boys on our way over here. You stand guard, California, while I find Don Leone. Right. Follow me, senor. Your hand. There are bodies lying here. Do not stumble. Uh, It is a poor welcome that I give you, senor Cassidy. Don't try to talk, Don Leone. We're going to get you out of here. Uh, No, it is too late. No. No. Don't they realize only you and Isabella are left to defend the place? I do not think so. Isabella, she is a good shot. We we killed many of his men before he retreated. He and that young swine, Carlos Esteban. Carlos Esteban? A renegade who has joined the Lobo. To think that once I thought I loved him. Is this is this El Lobo so big he can care warn you? He is a gringo outlaw, amigo. He came here and organized this band of human wolves. What if he's killed all your vaqueros, got all your stock? What more does he want? Why it should is... he attack your hacienda? It is Carlos Esteban who put him up to it. But why? For what? For the, the treasure. Treasure? What treasure? Uh, long years ago, amigo... I buried a fortune in gold dust in a lonely place by the sea. Gold, gold I had gotten in my youth by gambling, by cheating. Cheating? I was no angel, amigo, when I was younger. How did Carlos know about this gold you had buried? Isabella once told him. Uh, uh, The map... The what? The the map, there on the floor. I I took it from its hiding place a little while ago, thinking to burn it. You mean this? You see, there is a small piece of candle beside you, lighted. Right. There. Uh, Look upon the map, amigo. It is all I have left. Gold. A million pesos shining in shining dust, buried, buried in the sand by the roaring sea, like pirate treasure. I was a pirate too, a pirate of the land, as my ancestor was of the sea. (laughs) I, I buried it like a pirate, sacks of gold dust and rare brandy from Spain. Brandy? The custom, the custom of the Spanish buccaneers to bury wine with their loot so that when they should return, there should be drink to quench the thirst from the digging. Salute, Tingo Zete. Easy now. Don't try to sit up. Lie back. The custom. Uh, An old Spanish custom. Uh, Listen to me, go. Listen to me while I... I see. It's really quite simple when you know the key to the code. Now, this figure indicates 15 paces from the base of the Santa Monica Cliffs to... Don Leone. Don Leone. Dead. California! Here they come! Looks like we beat off that first rush. Yeah, lucky this house is built on a little rise. We can see them as they come. Keep your head down, California, and don't waste any shots. Mm. I'm going to the other side of the house and see how Isabella's making out. From the sound of that shooting, I... Mm. What's the matter? Look. 
Somebody's waving something white out there. Hello! Don Leone! For the sake of your granddaughter, stop fighting! I will make you an offer! If that shirt you're waving is a flag of truce, throw your guns down and come in, alone. There are my guns. Keep I him. come. Keep him covered, California. I'll let him in. Right. <laughs> hey, thank you for your hospitality, but uh, it is dark in here, no? We can accommodate you with a little candlelight inside. Watch your step. See? California, keep a sharp lookout for any funny business. You bet. These uh, bodies on the floor. I uh, am sorry so many have been killed, senor. Are you two all who uh, guard this side of the hacienda? I'll write you a detailed report later. Uh, Don Leone, I'll take us on the other side, eh? Senor Caldesi, what has happened? Who is that? Keep your post, Isabella. We have a hostage. Hostage? <laughs> what is it? Who is it? Carlos. Isabella. Are you alone here? Murder. Oh, the old man is dead, eh? Mm, if Don Leone would be so foolish as to get himself killed... Well... All right, what is it? What do you want? Nothing very important, senor. All we wish, El Lobo and myself, is to look through the hacienda. Is it not a pity? All this bloodshed just to deny us a simple thing like that. You are free to go, senor, you and your friend. We have no quarrel with you. All I wish is to... What is that? Huh? On the table. No, you don't. I'll take that. The map. It is the map. Give it to me. Aren't you forgetting yourself, Carlos? You are barely a guest here. That map, senor. That is what we are looking for. I warn you, I... Senor Cassidy, I smell smoke. Huh? Happy, happy. The roof's on fire. Santa Maria. <laughs> While we talk, El Lobo shoots burning arrows into the roof on the blind side. <laughs> Indian trick. The roof, she is dry wood, senor. <coughs> this smoke, it gets stick, no? Poppy, Poppy. Uh, I had to get out of there. The fire. Uh, Carlos, can you hear me? See, I can hear you, El Lobo. So can they. I am coming out, friend. Or do you want the little lady to roast? Do we all roast together, senor Cassidy? <coughs> or do we surrender? I would rather die. All right, you win, Carlos. <coughs> no! Throw down your gun, California. We have no choice. And now back to Hopalong Cassidy in An Old Spanish Custom. <laughs> Seized by the Yankee outlaw El Lobo, who is seeking a map of Don Leone Ortega's buried gold, Hoppy, California, and Isabella defend the Ortega Hacienda through the night, while dickering on surrender terms with El Lobo's renegade Lieutenant Carlos Esteban, they discover that the roof has been set afire and they're forced to surrender. As dawn comes up, the bandit gang rides westward with three prisoners, Hoppy, California, and Isabella. I'm sure glad they didn't tie us up. They don't have to. Not with their riders all about us. Isabella. See. Si. Pull yourself together, honey. I know it looks bad, but if we keep our eyes open, there may still be a way out of this. Hurrah! Hurrah! Hey, we're stopping. Wonder what happens now. We'll soon find out. Here comes Carlos and El Lobo himself. Uh, 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 uh. How would you two is like a little breakfast? Morning, ma'am. You see, El Lobo is not angry that you kill so many of our men. He likes you. I'm handling this, Carlos. Well, I only tried to help. Vamos. All right, I go. You go in for robbery in a big way, don't you? Wagons, a remuda of spare horses, a gang of cutthroats. I'm a big man in these parts, Cassidy. Now, there's a little information I'd like to get. I don't make much sense out of that map of Don Leone's. I can see it's a spot somewhere on the beach. But I don't savvy the writing. I got a hunch the little senorita can explain it for I me. I do not know. And if I knew, I would not tell you. So? Tell her to think it over, Cassidy. We have a few hours before we reach the Pacific. 
If she still holds out on me by then, well, do I have to tell you what'll happen? Come on. Think it over. Truth is, I do not know. I do not know. Easy, Isabella. Uh, We might make a dash for the remuda and grab some horses. We'd be shot down before we got ten yards. Oh, the yellow varmint. Look at him a setting there at that campfire with them other polecats. Well, he's not even giving us any grub. Isabella. Carlos. You, you did not think I had forgotten you, did you, amigos? Here, a bottle of wine to help wash the dust from the senorita's lovely mouth. Where, Cole? <laughs> I would as soon drink poison as a gift from you. Perhaps I have made many mistakes, Isabella. But one thing I know, I love you. And I do not wish him to kill you. Well, I'll be... Palace. Oh, El Lobo. What? What the devil are you palavering about? It's just a friendly reunion, El Lobo. Shut up, Cassidy. A bottle of wine, huh? Palace, I told I, you... I, I was before. trying to make it easier for you. I thought... Shut your I... face. If there's any thinking to be done around here, I'll do it, you white-livered weasel. You, you dare to talk to me like that? I show you... you... <laughs> Pull a gun on me, will you? You... You killed him? Yes, sweetheart. He was no good to me anymore. I got the map. Watch it, Cassidy. If you're thinking of jumping me, there's a dozen guns behind me that are covering you. Even if I should miss, which I won't. I reckon we won't wait till we get to the beach. I reckon you're going to tell me right now where that gold dust is, sister. Come here. Let her alone. I'll take you to the spot where Don Leone buried the stuff, and you can choke on it. But don't touch her, do you understand? Don't touch her. The wagon driver. If you could snatch his pistol. I'd be throwing all our lives away for nothing. Santa Maria, Happy, Do you not understand? If you let them have the gold, we shall be killed anyway. We'll have to take our chances. Hey, smell that salt air. Oh, we must be... Look, way off there. See, the ocean. El Pacifico. Well, it won't be long now. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen paces. This should be the spot where Don Leone buried his stuff. It had better be. Miguel! Pablo! Take Cassidy back to those rocks with the other two and stand guard. Ambrose, grab those shovels. Dig! Dig for that coal! Dig now! They found it, Don Leone's treasure. Look at them, passing up them bags of gold dust. Oh, how many of them are there? The way they're handling them, those bags must be pretty rotten. Look, they're pouring the gold on that saddlebag. Hey, they found something else. Look, they're passing up something that looks like... Uh, Bottles of Spanish brandy. Brandy? Uh, look, there's El Lobo coming this way. One of them bottles in his hand. If he comes close enough... Don't try anything, I tell you. (laughs) Have a drink, Cassidy. Did you know that old buzzard buried this stuff with his swag? Burying liquor with his gold is just an old Spanish custom. He's going to hold a fiesta when he returns to get it. (laughs) A fiesta? We'll hold it for him. Have a drink, Cassidy. You said we could go. That gold was there. Call off your dogs and give us back our horses. <laughs> kind of childish, ain't you, Cassidy? After killing nearly half my men. No, amigo. We ain't letting you go. Any of you. You gave your word. <laughs> You're a bigger fool than I thought. So you don't want to drink with me, huh? When my boys get through lighting fires under you, it'll take more than good liquor to cool you off. Thank you. 
Now back to Hop Along Cassidy. Hoppy, the sun, the sun's going down. Look at them, all lying on the beach, dead drunk. Not all of them. El Lobo is still sitting there with the gold singing. Yeah, the bottle in one hand and a gun in the other. Hey, them waves are coming up almost to where he's hitting. Yeah, the tide's rising. What are we waiting for? He is too drunk to shoot? I want to be sure. Now look, he, he's fallen over on top of the gold dust. This is our chance. Hey, uh, that big wave, it's going to break over him. Come on. He, it'll sweep the gold into the sea. Hoppy, Hoppy, it's gone. The gold's gone. Every grain of it washed away. I, I tried to grab a handful. Gone. You got a handful, all right. A handful of sand. Come on, help me drag this hombre where the next wave won't wash him out. Forget him. Let us take the horses and guns and get out of here. Uh, she's right. They won't sleep forever. That's where you're wrong, California. They will. What? What do you mean? If El Lobo had kept his word and let us go, I'd have told him. Told him what? What Don Leone told me just before he died. You see, he'd put that liquor there not for himself, but for anyone who should get there before he did. That's why he poisoned every bottle. Goodbye from Hopalong Cassidy. Hoppy in California are hitting the trail homeward again, and after this little adventure, the Bar 20 is going to be a restful sight. Hope you enjoyed this friendly visit and that you'll remember to tune in next time these two fighting cowboys get involved in another thrilling escapade. Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. An old Spanish custom was written by Irvin Ashkenazi. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production.